and uh, he'll get one more chance at it. He scores at the buzzer, but Niagara will beat the body 77 to 75. The Purple Eagles win it. The final score, Niagara 80 and St. Bonaventure 72. Harder, smarter, more together. Now we get number seven, we get six in a row, and we protect the Riley Center. All right, no one's coming in here, fellas. All right, especially Niagara. It's the only one tonight. English. Boy, English did a great job there to protect the basketball. Go oh, shooty! Throws one down. And so how do you stop that? I can't. You just can't. And then inside it's oh shooty! Oh shoot, oh shooty, the big fella throws it down. Oh shoot, he'll go inside. That was a little too easy for the big guy. Yeah, no one's stopping that. Once he's able to get that close, he's going over the top and pretty much just drop it in. And Dominic Welch. Big three from Dominic Welch. Dominic Welch is going to train another three. A sophomore from Chittawaga heating up again. Right to Lofton for three. And he wins it, showing off the glass and now pushing the lead to 15. He'll decide himself to throw it inside with Peasy and the lefty. So he throws it inside. This is Planudis who goes up off the glass. And a great shot right there for St. Bonaventure. That one comes off Vasquez's hands from outside the arc. That's the cherry on top for the Bonnies right there. But six in a row now for the St. Bonaventure Bonnies. They're really rolling. Just coming up here, we were, coach was talking about how like we're, we haven't beat Niagara in two years. And then so that, that whole mindset was we're not, we're not going to lose. Like that was the whole mindset, we're not going to lose. It's, a, it's an upstate rivalry. So we got to do it for the alums. It's like, uh, alums are a big part of basketball. So we got to do it for the alums. That was the whole point. Just we're not losing to Niagara this year.